this will be testifying in public but not in a chaotic scene where the Democrats who have already demonstrated they can't uh, conduct themselves in a mature, credible manner during the hearing. The Democrats can't conduct themselves in a mature, credible manner. Republican Chairman Comer, in a recent hearing, you described the actions of your critics with a profanity. They went around and investigated all this bullshit that Ian Sams is trying to tell people that only dumb, financially illiterate people pick up on. And in addition to calling fellow House members dumb and financially illiterate, Chairman Comer, you tried to smear two Democratic colleagues with juvenile nicknames. But you and Goldman, who is Mr. Trust Fund, continue to try Re -reclaim to... Reclaiming my time. No, I'm Re not going to give you your time back. We can stop the clock. Re you all continue to... You look like a smurf here just going around and all this stuff. No Chairman Comer, Congressman Moskowitz is a smurf, and Congressman Goldman is Mr. Trust Fund, and now, weeks later, you claim to stand for credibility and maturity. Good grief. Anyway, the latest hypocrisy from House Republican Chairman James Comer involves committee testimony coming from Hunter Biden. The president's son has volunteered to talk to Congress about his financial dealings. However, Hunter Biden has asked that the testimony be public so that everybody who is interested can watch in real time, hear exactly what Biden says, and not twist it. Comer says no way and insists that Hunter Biden's first deposition must be done with the committee in private. We have tens of thousands of pages of documents where we need to sit down and ask specific substantive questions without filibustering, without interruption, without going five minutes back and forth with, with Jamie Raskins and Dan Goldman and, and uh, little Moskowitz jumping up and down. Uh, fire, uh, file in motions. There can be no motions from little Moskowitz. There's your maturity again, right, Chairman Comer? Democratic Congressman Dan Goldman explained on MSNBC the real reason Comer and his GOP nitwits want to keep things private. They don't want the American people to hear directly from Hunter Biden. They want him to go behind closed doors where they can take secret testimony, leak misinformation, misleading information, cherry pick information to paint this entirely fictional story that they have been painting all year. They had one public hearing for their impeachment investigation at the end of September. It was an abject failure. Chairman Comer is leading a disastrous investigation, and Hunter Biden just called his bluff. Because what Hunter Biden will say will not help the Oversight Committee. It will put the final nail in the coffin of this bogus sham investigation. And Jim Comer, Jamie Comer, knows that. He knows that if this is public, he's doomed. That's why he wants to do it in private. In fact, what he really wanted was for Hunter to say that he would not testify because his last ditch effort was to claim some sort of obstruction which would then somehow support his bogus allegations. But Hunter Biden called his bluff and Jamie Comer and the House Oversight Committee and this sham impeachment investigation has, is running around with their tail between their legs. They don't know what to do. Well, the Republican cheerleaders on Fox News know what to do. Suddenly, they've become advocates for secrecy and congressional investigation efficiency, whatever that means. I prefer hearings to be done behind closed doors because I think that they actually get mm -hmm. to, the, to the heart of the matter and they get some truth and they can ask questions without preening for the camera, without all the grandstanding. That is my preference. And for, for Abby Lowell, his attorney, to say, well, you all use that to misinform and to distort the facts. Well, you know what? You can do that too, Abby. After he comes out of his closed door session, you feel free to knock yourself out and you can distort too. I mean, it's 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 a silly argument. Michelle Tafoya, what's really silly is that you, of all self-proclaimed reporters, would endorse a private hearing and encourage both sides to battle each other in a spinning contest afterwards and that the public should determine the truth based on who spins better. Michelle, is that how you did your sports sideline reporting? You interviewed coaches and players in private and merely transmitted their spin, or did you interview them on camera so the public could hear the comments? The hypocrisy runs deep at Fox News, even among their conservative contributors and guests. Anyway, back to Republican House Committee Chairman James Comer. This has not been an easy year for him and for his efforts to impugn the Bidens. Keep your channel locked to Fox News as we bring you all the latest from James Comer coming up in a few hours. Fox and Friends starts right now. Have a good day. A countdown clock. That's how excited Fox News was for the Republican House News Conference.
Republicans are calling it judgment day. Hunter could face charges in tax evasion and illegal gun ownership. The entire family has been putting millions and millions of dollars in their back pocket. But on this judgment day for the Republican investigators, it was a big swing and a whiff. But are you going to be able to prove the central thesis that President Biden was directly involved with corruption? With so right now, you could say that uh, we're in the, the beginning stages of this investigation, but we're going to continue to look. We are going to continue to look. We are at the beginning stages. In other words, no, they do not have any proof of criminal wrongdoing. As Politico reported, Comer releases Biden family probe update without showing link to president. Instead, the oversight panel chair revealed that Biden family members, business associates, or related companies receive more than $10 million from companies run by foreign nationals. However, for years, Hunter Biden has acknowledged serving on the boards of several foreign-owned companies, and board members get paid. Was Biden's father, the president, involved? No. And there's no evidence anybody has collected that shows otherwise. Relatedly, when Republicans held a Biden impeachment hearing this fall, their leadoff Republican witness criticized the impeachment effort. I do not believe that the current evidence would support articles of impeachment. That is something that an inquiry has to establish. And that is Jonathan Turley, a George Washington University law professor and Fox News analyst picked by Republicans to testify and prompting this headline. GOP's own witness pours cold water on Biden impeachment. I do not believe the evidence meets the standard. Frankly, a number of the things I lay out benefit President Biden, as I say in my testimony. Because presidential impeachment shouldn't be a closed question, it shouldn't be a rush to judgment, and you should avoid the type of confirmation bias that can, can uh, occur in this process. And that was a shot at committee chairman James Comer, who made his confirmation bias clear over the summer on Fox News. Bribery allegation, and do you believe that you will be able to prove that, Jim Comer? I sure hope so. I sure hope so? In other words, the Republican committee chair already has an outcome he wants, but does not have the evidence to back it up. And if Hunter Biden does not provide that evidence or provides evidence that exonerates the president, will James Comer be honest about Hunter Biden's testimony? Or will Comer describe Hunter Biden's testimony in a way that is misleading and immature? Professor Turley, your thoughts. These are constitutional moments that demand the best from each of us to transcend the politics and passions of our time. It calls for something that's difficult. It calls for solemnity and clarity. You all continue to, you look like a Smurf here, just going around and all this stuff. And that guy, James Comer, the self-proclaimed Smurf expert is to be trusted with the deposition of Hunter Biden and with keeping things credible. Right. James Comer is a hypocrite. And if there's anything one can count on in this Republican House Biden investigation, it is that Comer's hypocrisy and dishonesty will continue. By the way, Republican presidential candidate Chris Christie keeps going off on Donald Trump and seems to be gaining ground. I'm not willing to acquiesce to someone who embarrasses us. I'm not willing to acquiesce to someone who makes us seem small all around the world. I'm not willing to acquiesce to someone who is the worst of our public discourse. Mm, check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.